Welcome back to all the crackers in the box. So, I got my strap on. I think I've got everything all picked out. Now it's time to piece everything together to get the inside then. Thanks for joining me today. I'm so excited. Put a little lotion on before I start mucking about with all my materials and whatnot. So, I'm going to film this one throughout the day. I normally will do it at the end of the day, so it's probably a little brighter. I got all my yarns back behind me, so I'm super excited. It helps me motivated. Okay, so I picked out a couple of my scrap materials. I have a couple boxes of materials and some of them just weren't what I was going for. I thought possibly this gorgeous 80s vibe, not so much. thought this one maybe for my tulips, but it's really, it's really thin. I want it to be durable in case they decide to use it for groceries or something or putting a bunch of books or electronics in. So what I have landed on now for this one, it also goes for this beauty here. We are going to use this like waffly yellow. And I picked this yellow because it's a good material and I think it matches up with the greens really nicely and the yellows that I chose. So it really is gonna complement everything. And that way, I mean, a bright interior is always a great idea for your purse. So we're gonna pop that there because I have my color picked out. It is in a big tube, so I may not even have to bring out my sewing machine because I don't want to use a sewing machine on the top and have the stitches come through on the outside because I think that looks a little bit tacky. Now, got this part done. Added an extra row of single crochet. The color I went with is black and the reason why I went with the black is it really makes that yellow and that green really noticeable when it's not there so I tried all sorts of colors it's yeah I like the black we're gonna go with black on this one I'm not crazy about the idea of doing black I may switch it up to the yellow but I don't think I have enough of that particular yellow and I'm not so sure that I think this yellow would complement that yellow Yeah, I don't really like that. So it's probably just gonna have to stick with the black just to give it that contrast that I'm looking for. So those are done. Now my funnest part is picking buttons. Now we're going to pull out the good old button box. I don't wanna put it on my desk, there's enough on there. Let's see. I've got a couple bigger buttons. Um, Right off the bat, this gorgeous green one right here has really caught my eye. Huh. I'll pull that one out just to be... And this is just from the random ba bag of mismatched one of the kinds. Ooh. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and it matches so nice with that one. Okay. That goes with that colorway really, wow. Just gonna go with a big wow. So I think what I'm gonna do for closure is I'm just gonna do a magic loop over the top. That's pretty, doesn't match anything, but I like it. And I need something for the little wallet. 
That's why I'm looking at that little green one. I think that might work to pop it through the corner piece because there is a bit of an opening there. I have... These ones have more than one. So these are all greens and whatnot. Okay. We found some bigger ones. I kind of like that green too. That might be the size I want. Huh. Huh. So, another bag with a little bit of mismatch. It looks like it has some from my dollar store haul that I do have a couple. So it really looks like they were Lala Lucy ones. Ooh. That is a cool button. This little shank one. That might work for a Oh, it's too dark, but that greenness, oh, that is so neat. I do like that. But because I used white for the trim, it's just not working. I don't think this will work for either one, but holy, that is neat. I like that button. And this is why we have a magical button box. So, kind of cool. It's a plastic uh, stag. And this one, I've always liked that one. I don't have a project for that one right now, but it's always one I keep in mind for at some point. So you can find anything. No, those are like pearls. Those ones look like seashells, which are very pretty. We got some gold and whatnot. No, those are too small. Yeah, I'm looking at some of the smaller ones here. Those are all pink. This is one I already looked at. That does definitely have the greens. And that big white one. I do like that orange. But not for this picture. Oh, it's a yellow. Ooh, even better. A yellow button. Huh. I always think this one's really neat one. I haven't found a project for it yet either. It's kind of a purpley lapisy. It's supposed to be kind of lapisy. I've got a couple of yarn now that matches, so it may be going on to my list of things I'm going to be taking out of here to use. So when I say there's a button collection in my house, I mean there is a massive button collection. And I think I've got a couple more squirreled away that I took for other projects that I may or may not want to take a peek at. Oh, what is that? Let's see what you look like in the light. That is neat. Maybe not for this, but something for my son for sure. That's super masculine. Yes, a masculine button. <laughs> okay, I think I've got my options here. We're going to move the lid of that because I'm doing this while the girls aren't uh, here. They're in the living room and they are playing. I can hear them, which is great. Did I leave it out? I think I did. Okay. So I think with this one, maybe a closure here. One nice closure. And then I could do it on either side because I do like that one too. But I don't think that's going to work out. 
So I might just do the one. Maybe what I'll do is... Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do it on the one side here. That one I'll have to think about quite a bit here. Oh, here you are. Hmm. Not loving it. Not in love with it. It's not bad. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like that one. Now let's make sure we can fit you through our gap here. It's going to be a little on the tight side. But I love that button. I found one. Okay, so this is my button for this one. Let's pop that in there. I know where it is. Okay. Ooh, that one is super cute. Okay. Got some really cool buttons in here. Oh, I don't want those ones. Because I could always go... Yeah, I don't love that with that one per se, but I think, no, I think this one's going to be fine being left open. I think I'm going to put these back, but that one little green one for that one is going to do it for me. Probably not putting them back where I got them, so shh, don't tell my mommy. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. <laughs> she took a long time to sort all those. Anyway, I'll be back a little later to continue on. I'm probably going to have a shower, maybe another coffee. Uh, doing my bane of my existence. Hand sewing. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hi. Much, much later. I have done a lot of work. And... We're doing bedtime and I've woken up and I seem to be awake for now. So... I don't work on this video. I finished all my working with my sewing machine. And what I did was I did some of my bigger seams, like on the bottom here. Let's see here, if it's on that. Nope, I can't. Ah, there. So I did a bottom seam. sew the pieces together. And right now, I'm doing a bit of a bunched up so it's not laying flat too well and I don't want it to, which is fine, this is exactly what I'm going for. And I'm following the shape of the actual bag. So, this top side has been seamed as well. That way I wasn't going to flip open and start to break, I hope. This one is black, so it's going to be a lot more forgiving, and it's a lot of easier of a shape to deal with. So I started with the harder one. Now, in my fancy sewing bag, which used to be a makeup, it's intended to be a makeup bag, but I love it for a sewing bag. Everything fits. And the dragonflies are really cute. I have scrolled in here all my sewing supplies. I know I'm not showing you inside my sewing bag because it is a giant mess right now. This is my wall. So, you got a cute little daisy. Got her greens on there. I'm not so sure I like this daisy 100%, but too late now. This is her back. This is just mostly for show. I went with a snap. I'm still not 100% sure I have it on securely enough, so I will be double checking that in the morning. And we have our yellow inside. I can flip it out. 
And because of the shape of it, it was a little tricky. But I gave it some... And it works. It's exactly what I was looking for, what I had in mind, and it will fit inside perfectly. But yeah, I'm just not so sure I'm sold on how that plays out. But it's probably not going to be really used much, so it's just something cute to go with it, I guess. I'll just pop that back into my sewing bag, so I know where it is when I'm finished, and I can put them together. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that has been my whole day. Uh, I mean, I did a little tiny bit of cleaning, and, you know, family stuff. Watched a movie with the kids. All the good things. Um, yeah, that's, that's been my day. I think I am going to say goodnight here. I have a busy day again tomorrow. I have a bunch of laundry that needs to be done and other things to get ready to start things while we're getting ready for school, like implementing bed night, bedtimes and wake-up times and all that fun stuff. So I have to figure out what I'm going to be doing in my videos, but I'll figure it out. Anyways, thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box and Hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye.